not a lot of fans in this morning session, which I guess is not surprising. Many Bohemians probably going to Sutton the morning service and uh, they will be looking to pack this Thomas A. Robinson Stadium for the afternoon session. Do remember as well that the Eastern Grandstand, I think it is, is open to the public for free today. If I got that wrong, please correct me. But I think it was the Eastern Grandstand that was announced and open to the public free of charge for today's second day of a competition. Heard the announcement yesterday evening. Sounded like what we heard in Kingston last year at the Grifter game. So across the region, governments understand that the youngsters who are the stars of the future need support today. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, hat goes off to the government of the Bahamas for putting on, hosting and executing a perfect event, uh, bringing the world to the house and, you know, especially after coming out of COVID. So good thing, you know, a lot of people will now see and take effect that we, we're on the right track. Yeah, for sure. The athletes getting ready for this second heat in the under 20 girls. 400 hurdles. There is Michelle Smith of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Such a talent. Outstanding in Kingston last year at the under-17 level. Came up for discussion at some point of the games when speaking about the Austin Seeley Award. At the end of it, it was undeniably Adeja Hodge, but she stood out. Can't have been too much in it. This young lady, 800, four hurdles, sprint hurdles two wins, three medals, gave a command performance. And now she's first under 20. Everyone looking with great interest as to what she will do this year. First year under 20, but you don't suspect she will be faced by that. There is the Jamaican 312, Alia Baker. All rounder, five. all rounder Ricardo runs on a high speed four by one team and uh, can hurdle as well and uh, maybe she's finding a home in this four hurdles event she lines up in lane number five michelle smith kenesha shelburne of trinidad and tobago alia baker of jamaica and vanessa mercera of curacao line up for the second section of the under 20 girls 400 meter hurdles top three sure to go through Next two fastest, 105.25 and 105.94, the times on the bubble. If you run faster than 105.94, you're in the final. Off they go then. Second heat of the under 20 girls, 400 meter hurdles. Michelle Smith got out well, and she got to the first hurdle first. The US Virgin Islands athlete continuing to hurdle first as she heads down the back stretch. She's already gone by the Trinbegonian Shelburne. Goes out to the Jamaican Baker and flies by her as well. This is Michelle Smith of the US Virgin Islands. She looks comfortable here, Michelle Smith. This one has the potential, I think. It's early days, but when you watch her, you feel like you are watching a future star in the event. She turns into the straightaway. Michelle Smith, U.S. Virgin Islands, leads the under-20 girls 400 hurdles. Alia Baker of Jamaica comes into second position. Shelburne of Trinidad and Tobago in third will get the final automatic qualifying spot. But Michelle Smith is easy, 58-89 on the clock. Now that is the real Sunday morning stroll. She's run 208.39 for 800 this season in Florida. And here gets under 60 and under 59 in the first round. Polished performance, assured, and runs the heat that we should run the final until hurdle number 10. Textbook. Michelle Smith of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Love the performance, this. She'll burn the Trinbegonian adjusting her uniform at some point of the race, able to maintain an automatic qualifying position. This one looks special, Chris. Yes, she executed her race. She didn't shut it down. She did exactly what her coach told her to do, run through the line. 
and she pulled it off. I mean, she it was well executed. She she knows what it takes, and but the name of that name Michelle Smith, that that name is going to ring off in track and field for a while. If she continues doing what she's doing, you're going to hear her name a whole lot. Yeah, I'm sure that Again, we will hurt it a whole lot a year ago, especially on the final day. And uh, we'll be hearing it a whole lot this year as well. Tall, strong, and fast. Alternated on the back straightaway. Different lead legs depending on how fast she was going to each hurdle. And has the full package at an early age in her career in hurdling. Yeah, by this time on day number two of last year's Terrifta Games. We had started to get an idea of where the Austin Celia Award was going this time around. Might require some more discussion. We're going to take a break on our coverage of Carifta 50 from the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium in the Bahamas. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. <laughs> 